you started off by uh, saying how optimistic should we be? Um, and optimism sometimes is uh, irrational. Optimism is sometimes hard to defend in strictly rational terms, but it is the only useful emotion uh, in relation to this. We absolutely have to do the, the hard work of staying hopeful um, because the, the, the only alternative to that is, is defeatism. Uh, and that would be every bit as paralyzing as denial of the problem. So, um, you know, optimism and, and, and hopefulness are, are, are not easy sometimes, uh, but they are, they are absolutely necessary and we have to, uh, to keep trying to rekindle uh, optimism uh, in relation to it. Uh, I, I think there is, um, whatever the, the attitude of the UK government in relation to, you know, playing kind of jingoistic games about, you know, Scotland or Nicola Sturgeon or whatever, uh, I, I think the presence of the COP in Glasgow, in Scotland, is going to have the opportunity to transform our domestic attitudes uh, in an even more powerful way than I spoke about earlier with the first Climate Change Act, that, that sense of the country coming together and doing something uh, that maybe uh, a few years ago would have felt uh, impossible. Uh, I think the, the COP's presence in, in Glasgow, assuming touch wood that it, it is going to go ahead, um, you know, it'll probably be a socially distanced event. It will probably be smaller than, than previous events with a lot of work taken online, but it, it, it is going to happen uh, and its presence and the, the eyes of the world, I think, has the real potential to transform the, the, the domestic conversation uh, on climate uh, in a way like nothing has before. So we, we have to be looking to do that. The Greens are working with um, the European Green Party, the, the Global Greens, uh, lots of networks of, uh, of uh, kind of capital G and small green, small G green organizations uh, and parties around the world, uh, some of whom will have ministers in those negotiations, many of whom will have activists and observers in the rest of the, uh, the, the event uh, outside of the formal negotiations uh, and many of whom, of course, will have activism happening in the wider city, uh, even if not part of the, the formal event. Uh, so I hope that other political parties and other political traditions are also looking to do the same thing. Um, I do think, as I said earlier, there's a real need uh, to, to draw a line in terms of lobbying because the, the private sector, particularly the fossil fuel industry, the, the concrete industry, people like the, the, these folk, uh, have been very powerful voices, far too powerful within previous COPs. So I think we need to start drawing a line on uh, the, the toxic role of lobbyists, uh, and in particular, those who are looking to slow down action uh, on, on climate. And, and finally, uh, you, you reflected it in your question as well, um, the way those, those last few counties uh, are counted uh, in the US presidential election uh, should not matter as much as it does to the global picture, you know, it, it's appalling that um, such a, a, a corrupt and gerrymandered electoral process uh, has this profoundly important effect, but it does. And the difference between a US administration that just acknowledges the basic reality of science, uh, as opposed to one which uh, pretends that uh, climate change is a, is a hoax invented by the Chinese, uh, that is going to be profoundly important because uh, whether they're inside or outside of Paris, the US administration have the choice. They can be a positive and constructive player in that global negotiation, or they can continue to frustrate, undermine, and slow down uh, those global negotiations. Uh, it is great to see that there's, there's sub-state activism happening, a sub-state government level action happening in the US, but we, we need governments as well to be around the table trying to move things in the right direction rather than trying to undermine the process. And so, like you, I very much hope that the next few hours are going to give us just a little glimmer of hope on that front.